Put a ring on it, season one. This is episode six. Uh, I love this show. I absolutely love this show. I wish every single woman could watch the show because this is what my new book is all about. And I hope it's going to be coming out soon. I need to get it to the uh, the, uh, um, formatter. It's people that's been in a relationship forever and they're not married. They're not engaged, they're not married. Okay, so you have Shay and Michael, they've been together on and off for six years. Then you have Hollywood and Ashley, nine years, girl, nine years. He had proposed and then he broke it off. Josh, she's still with him. And then you have the new couple, Tamika and Vince. I don't know why they're together because she's always crying. If he's making you cry more than he make you laugh, girl, it's time to go. So this week, all the people went out on dates. Mike want to go on a third date with Whitney. I actually like Whitney for Mike. I think they have more things in common. My girl last week, Shay said um, Michael's son, Zion, couldn't come stay with him. Then when he come visit, he got to go get an Airbnb. Girl, I fell out. I could not, um, I could not uh, uh, believe it. They're talking about having, um, he's feeling, Mike is feeling he's not going to fall for her because he, he has control. And I'm like, it's not necessarily always about control, but sometimes it's just realizing that you and this person have so much things in common and y'all need to get busy with it. Okay. Busy as in getting to know each other and being serious with each other. Okay. Hollywood story about uh dr dr uh nicole asked about his role model and i was like he told a story he need to write a book how his mother really didn't want him how his mother would be hitting him so the father could come over and one time she left him at the park at five years old girl my mind went after that i just could believe that you would leave your five-year-old son uh at the park terrible okay all the couples on the day christina uh, is vince date uh very very pretty very 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 sexy she's from the i she said her family's from the islands um she's sp and he says she speaks my language i just don't think vince is ready to marry to get married also i heard a rumor about tamika i don't know if it's true girl but you know i ain't gonna put it out there i'm like uh larry reed live little baby cousin honey until they get out there i don't got nothing to say girl because ain't nobody gonna try to sue me okay and take my little channel away from me <laughs> Uh, she said she was, it, he asked her what happened, when was the last time you did, she was in a situation, listen to what she said, wasted lots of time, they realized there's somebody out there that might want her, that's what I'm talking about, my single sister, stop wasting time with these men, because there might be somebody out there that wants you, and what we've seen with all of these couples going out on dates, they're meeting guys and men who are ready to get married. So they're wasting time waiting on this person that they've been with to marry them when there are other people out there could possibly be ready to marry them. Okay. Tasha is Hollywood date. Oh, she looks like a bodybuilder. I don't like the dress she wore, girl. She was too thick for that dress she got on. Hollywood praying about two beautiful women in her house and Ashley, because Ashley was getting ready to go out on a date too. Okay. And they're talking about banana shirt and she hollywood asked what if he liked the uh the girl like the banana and ashley was like play with me okay uh you're gonna get <laughs> all of me and he was like what if the girl want all of me you know all of me he's a little flirt anyways okay and she was like play with me if you want to she threatened him to give him a black guy i said a black guy said ashley's a little violent i said lord jesus uh tasha she said she's beautiful and um and sexy then comes kwame which is ashes day girl i fell out oh he was so sick only thing i don't like all them tattoos i don't like the man with no tattoos okay he said he is looking for a woman with a body and communication and you know ashley has a body because she works out they went skating uh and he says she's a luca ashley has no kisses i was wondering nine years no kids girl that's good but ashley's 39 what you waiting on okay I don't know why I feel like there's something else. So Ashley, she's not telling us, but you know, I picked these things. He says she's a catch catch. You know what a catch catch is? You ain't got no kids, child. Let me write that down. He said Ashley's a catch catch because she don't got no kids. Okay, catch catch. Okay, you know what that means? Mm, ladies, are you a catch catch? Okay, be a catch catch, girl. Don't, you know. Okay, Hollywood uh, said he proposed four years ago uh, with two rings. And uh, Tasha said, I can't believe she's still there. Oh, I was like, okay, Tasha. So you're not putting up with the BS either. She said, wait a minute. Y'all was together six years. And then you proposed after four years. Oh, girl. Mm -mm. So I'm glad Ashley wasn't for the BS um, 
you know, they've been living together for seven years. Hollywood says she's cute. Tasha's cute, but she wants to talk more about Ashley than him. And he wants her to talk about him. So my single sisters, when you're dating for marriage, is why I can tell y'all shut your mouth and get the data about the man. He will, Tasha was so focused on Ashley that she didn't really get to talk to him. And even though um, Hollywood likes her and like that she has a nice body, they didn't get to know about each other much because all at Tasha wanted to talk about was Ashley. Call me, uh, he said the best part of the date is seeing her. Oh my God, that's a romantic girl. I don't know if he's been reading somebody's book, girl, but everything he said was, oh, he's so romantic. Ashley says she finds a new spark with Kwame uh, that she had with Hollywood a long time ago. That's what my daddy said. Never lose the spark. Yes, you're going to go through and life is going to happen, but you need to try to make sure your life is a continual um um honeymoon we see shay and i just think she's delusional girl she had on this dress cut 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 all the way down girl she ain't had no panties on not even a pair of thongs girl you couldn't even wear you can't even hide a pair of thongs with that dress you know you have some dress you shouldn't wear panties panties but you could wear a thong and it's okay girl he couldn't even, she couldn't wear a thong because it was all scut out right here girl it was terrible she is delusional. I don't really think Ash uh, Cher really know what this show is about. Is she realizing that, hey, at the end of the show, Mike might walk away, and I think he should walk away. But, girl, I heard a rumor. I don't know it's true. I'm going to keep my hope alive. And she says, we are halfway through the process. And she said he should be on his way to a proposal now. Yet he's going out on a third date with uh, with Miss Whitney over here, which Miss Whitney's cute. Ooh, too loud. Miss Whitney, you know, she's really cute. And I said, she is frustrated. She said she's frustrated because she realized he might not want it with her. Thank you, Shay. Thank you. I need Shay. She's 27. She's young. She's beautiful. I need Shay to realize that it might not happen with Michael. And I need her to just pack her bags and go away because she's met some wonderful guys. Dr. Nicole has done a great job with hooking all the people up with great couples. Mike says Shay is being extra. Uh, she's trying to get under the skin with that dress. She's standing there being cute and being sexy. She was like, honey, I'm just trying to be cute and sexy for my for my date. And she said, well, you look like you're going to the club. She was like, I'm trying to be cute for my date. In comes Rick knocking on the door. Michael opened the door, closed the door, and said, oh, child, oh, my God. Mr. Kryptonite in my book, girl, that's Miss Mike. Rick, what Rick looks like is Mr. Kryptonite in my book. Mike said, you're a little bit too light-skinned. You know, that's a joke. And uh, um, sh then he finally let her in. And sh girl, Mike, um, Shay, get up to meet Mike. And I, uh, Rick, I can say Mike. Because... <laughs> I keep saying, and the dress. So Mike says, uh, Sh let, bro, let me talk to you for a minute. Sh and Mike or Sh Rick or for Shay to sit. And Mike said, no, 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 go over there. Let me talk to Rick. And he is <laughs> talking to him about, you know, she's spoken for. And I'm like, no, she's not. Michael, no, Shay is not spoken for because she ain't got no ring on her finger, okay? She has no ring on her finger. She is not married, so she is not spoken for. My single sisters, stop allowing these men to lay claims for, to you when they haven't even put a ring on your finger. They put a baby in your belly or two or three or five. They haven't put a ring on your finger, but they're laying claims on you. This is why me and my single sisters not stop meeting men, putting all of your eggs in their one flimsy, possibly full of whole basket, okay? They gather the data on various men so you can make a decision about him. Honey, Mr. Rickalicious, that's what I call him. Mr. Rickalicious, he's adorable, okay? And I just love Mr. Rickalicious. Girl, I had to rewind a couple of times. Mr. Rickalicious is shame. <laughs> Uh, date and went on a date and she is a little flirt, but she, she's 27. She is a flirt and they're talking about what they like and she was like, I like abs and pecs. Do you have something? She's looking and licking her straw and, he, and she's like, do you like, do you have any pecs? And he said he has a little something and they were talking a little bit. He played basketball over the years, overseas and he's ready to get married. Uh, he want to have kids. She don't want to have kids. Girl, I couldn't believe it. I thought she just didn't want to be bothered with Michael's son no, honey, she don't want to have kids at all. And I'm like, well, if you don't want to have kids at all, why are you with a man that has a child and want the child to come live with him? 
and possibly want more kids. And she, he asked, Rickalicious, asked Shay how tall she is. And she said she's 5'10". And he said, do you know how we could have some kids? And she was like, you know, that really upset me when people say that, that we can have tall kids because you're tall and two people are having tall kids. And he says, I'm going to need you, want you to want some kids. And he was like, well, let's talk about you not wanting to have kids. And she he said, what makes you want to have kids? And he talked, he was like, I want to have something of my own. You know, I want to pass on my generation. And I, he, I want to be a father and a husband. And sh now she said, I know, you know, the way he talks about wanting to get married and having kids, she loves it. And she said the way he lit up by talking about how he wants to get married and have kids, she is now open to possibly having kids because of how Rickalicious lit up and talk about kids. And this is what I'm talking about. Ladies, you need a man who feel about marriage and kids the way you do. You don't want to try to rewire a man's thinking. You want to choose a man who want the same thing as you do. Tamika and this girl, I'm so sick and tired of them. Why are they on this show, honey? Vince ain't ready to settle down. Uh, she is delusional. Vince is the guy she's going to marry but want want to trust him why are you marrying a man you don't want to trust go back and watch my nine rolls of a christian wife honey if you don't respect him if you don't admire him if you don't trust him let him go throw him back in the sea girl find you another man vince uh doesn't feel comfortable here going with um other women on a date okay he's just delusional child he don't need no man okay uh john mark uh is Tamika's dad. I like that we're holding hands. She looks safe and secure. I like him. He's a little bit older and I think she needs older. Okay. Love him. Uh, they went to the same school. He is older. Uh, but he said, older the berries, sweeter the Jews, and darker the berries of the Jews. Okay. No drama talk mess up here. You know, because he's older. Older men don't want to be dealing with the BS. Okay. Mike went on another date with Whitney, honey, and they went on a, um, on a picnic, she said, every time she walks up, or, or it's a glow, she said, I, you know, she said, I don't know, she walking away, she glowing, she walking up to me, they're glow. they're at the picnic, honey, you know, picnics are romantic, girl, and he is feeding her the strawberry, and she's, he's feeding her, you know, that's romantic, girl, they talk about the issue with the son, Mike says, if she, she if she makes him choose between her or the son, of course, he's going to choose his son, of course, that's what you're supposed to do, you are a fa father, okay and he's he, um she said if she um you know if they were in a real relationship things would have progressed already because they're not talking the boundary is you cannot talk to these people except on the date okay i love mike and whitney uh if he moves on uh res in a respectful way from shay he said he say he want to do it respectfully and they'd probably get with whitney if they were dating they would have been farther along me with dr nicole might date with whitney she uh likes him a picnic the fruit he likes her dr nicole said don't you want don't you don't you want don't want to give a truthful answer but you want a truthful relationship hallelujah y'all in these relationships don't want truthful answer but you want to have a truthful relationship how many y'all know that's not going to work shay's date uh she said he is tall and he's handsome he's her cup of tea mike says he got too much milk in his tea since she's going on dates he wants to talk more she realized See what I told y'all? She realized since she's been going out on dates and other guys are showing interest in her. Now Mike is stepping up to the plate. He's talking more. He wants to spend more time with her. He is starting to get jealous. And he says, Mike says, it feels like they need they need to start dating again. This is why my daddy told me you should always date your mate. Don't get married. Stop dating there and stop going out on dates. You need to continue to date because you need to keep the fire burning. That's how you fan the flames. Okay. Tamika and Jen Marsh, say he talks a lot. Vince is easy, uh, distracted on dates. So she's saying John Mark was very attentive and talks Vince is distracted, you know, because he has roaming eyes. He hasn't gotten rid of the dog stage yet. So it was strange for her that a man want to talk and pay attention to her because Vince wasn't doing that on dates when they go out, okay? Then I say,
they cue the tears, honey. They got into it and she started crying. And he was like, you want to go there? And I just cannot with these two. I am sick of her crying and she needs to just break up and go away. Dr. Nicole says, respond to what you heard versus what you want to hear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My mom marriage counselor said, don't listen to answer. Listen to what the person is saying. That's powerful what Dr. Nicole says, that people respond to what is saying. You need to respond to what you heard versus what you want to hear. And they talk about, girl, he went and she went in Vince's phone and found a number. She asked him about it and maybe he was cheating. They need to just break up and go about their business. Okay. And Dr. Nicole said, you need to go get your life and come back, okay? That's why, you know, you don't argue and fight. Hollywood date, she says she's thicker than the other defer, the other dates. And the first date, no booty. And this, Dr. Nicole jumped in, wait a minute. She said the first date had no, be no booty. Cute girl, she really was cute, but she didn't have no booty. He likes booty. I'm all for people getting what they want. And he said, this girl had booty and is still not right. So what? Uh, the problem, uh, Mr. Hollywood. Okay, Kwame, uh, Asha says, very handsome and very fun. And Dr. Nicole, do you want to go out again? Tamika said, no, she don't want to go out with John Mark again. There won't, no, no, um, no sparks. Okay. Vince say, yes, she want to go out with, uh, uh, who he went out, whoever he went out, I don't really care for him, the date was comfortable, Mike says yes to a fourth date with, um, at, with, uh, Whitney, I like them together, okay, lol, Hollywood calls it a relationship, he said, <laughs> he said, that's a relationship, you know, went out on four dates, that's a whole relationship, okay, Shay is going to give Rick a second date, I love Shay, and Mr. Rickalicious. Oh, Mr. Rickalicious, honey, if Shay don't take you, I have some single sisters that is looking for a Mr. Rickalicious. Okay, Shay says no one cared that he's going on a fourth date with Whitney. And Dr. Nicole jumped in and said, you missed it. You missed it. Everybody was like, you missed it. And it was like, he's starting to get jealous. And then she was like, okay, what did you say? This is what I don't like about Shay, okay? Shay's in her own world. She only wants things to go her own way. And I'm sick and tired of Shay. I like her, but I'm sick and tired of her. She needs to go get her life. Hollywood says a second date feels like cheating. And so she's not going to go out with Tasha because that's cheating. Ashley, then he went off when Ashley wanted to go on a second date. Because that's like cheating. If you go on a second date, this is what I'm telling you. These people do not understand the process of this experiment. You're supposed to go on dates to see if you can spark something with something else. And sometimes you might need to go out on a second date with them. I do think Mike needs to start going out on, a, on another date with somebody else. But I think he don't want to lose Whitney. And you know, Hollywood getting pissed. I talk about, you like him. You like him. You like him. Say, so she's cheating. And I'm like, Hollywood, did you know what you signed up for? Okay. He's getting on my nerves too, child. I just think Ashley deserves somebody a little bit better than Hollywood and Phineas. Hollywood to Miss just hood and get her from the hood. And she just needs to go ahead and get on with Kwame. Okay, well spoken. I don't know what Kwame do, but very handsome, well spoken. And you could take him to the White House with your child. Hollywood, you can't take it. You gotta leave him and Tondi and Tasha over there in the bushes, in the wood, in the ghetto, at the cookout. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. Let me know what y'all think about put a ring on him. Do you think any of these couples belong together? I don't like any of these couples together. I think they all need to break up and go find other people they need to get with. Remember, my darlings, I invest a lot in you guys, so I need you guys to invest in me. And how you invest in me is you could do, drop it in my cash app if you just want to be a blessing to my soul cash out the cash tag the dollar sign which is my name and my name jane is j-a-n-i-c-e hilton h-y-l-t-o-n or email me gmail janice hilton blog j-a-n-i-c-e h-y-l-t-o-n blog b-l-o-g at gmail.com my books are available on amazon 23 types of guys you might meet and in here which people ignore this but i'm going to do a book on this how to uh, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves in dating. And of course, the naked wife woman end up being the naked, naked wife because you choose wrong. And then when you choose the wrong husband, you choose a Mr. Filler like KG Smooth on Put a Ring on, on a Red Club. 
girl, you will end up being the naked wife and you don't want to be the naked wife. And of course, in Christ, I am every person need to read this, especially women. If you're struggling with your identity and you have, you have a, a self-esteem issues and you have identity issues and you don't understand your salvation, you don't understand what Christ has done for you, you don't understand that you are now the righteousness of Christ, you don't understand that you are a gift, you don't understand that you're called, you're chosen, you don't understand that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You don't understand that you've been bought with a price. You don't understand that you are an ambassador of Christ. Girl, if you don't know who you are, pick up this book on Amazon, In Christ I Am. It is a series. This is the book part, part of it. And then I have the Bible verse journal for the kids to write the Bible verse because you know they don't know Bible verses these days and we don't write anymore. And then I have the prayer journal that you need to pray. All right, girl. I love you. I love you. I love you. Let me know what you think. I'm going to try to start doing this review a little bit early because today is Friday. The show comes on tonight, so it is a little late. Let me know what you think about the covers. I love you. Have a good day. Bye.